In 2004, after 10 new Central Eastern European countries, including Poland, joined the European Community, the border of the European Union moved almost 1,000 kilometers to the east in order to facilitate the contacts with its eastern neighbors, Poland and Sweden initiated the program of the Eastern Partnership, directed to Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Belarus, Moldova and Ukraine. Its aim is to tighten the political and economic cooperation with those countries, promote European democratic values, energetic and ecological security. In 2008, the Eastern Partnership was presented by the heads of Polish and Swedish diplomacy and, a year later, at the summit in Prague, the representatives of all the EU countries and of six partner countries accepted the so-called Prague Declaration, which is the basic document of the Eastern Partnership. The policy of the Eastern Partnership focuses on several priorities. These are supporting reforms, creation of deep and comprehensive free trade areas, the energetic security and supporting economic development. Its flagship initiatives financed by the Union are projects which execute those priorities. Thanks to them, the partner countries can improve the infrastructure of their borders, subsidize the development of small and medium enterprises, secure energy markets, invest in renewable energy sources, and combat the effects of ecological disasters. Moreover, the Eastern Partnership actively supports the development of civil society, non-governmental organizations, free media and effective state administration. An important aim of the Eastern Partnership is signing association agreements with those partner countries which fulfill both requirements concerning the economy as well as the rules of democracy. During the Eastern Partnership Summit in Vilnius, in the year 2013, Georgia and Moldova signed association agreements. The Eastern Partnership also had to face problems. As a result of the world crisis of 2008 and Russia's political resistance, some targets were impossible to be met during the summit in Vilnius. At the last moment, the President of Ukraine refused to sign association agreement, which resulted in violent demonstrations in the Kiev and shift of power in this country. As a result, Ukraine was involved in armed conflict at its own territory and the relationships between the European Union and Russia radically deteriorated. Therefore, there are many critics of the initiative of the Eastern Partnership. In spite of difficulties, the program of the Eastern Partnership brought profits to certain partner countries. Due to trade agreements, wines from Georgia and Moldova began to conquer Europe. The development of the infrastructure in Georgia, financed by the EU, resulted in more and more tourists coming to visit. They come mostly from Europe, encouraged by the beautiful nature and interesting culture. In 2014, the EU removed visas for Moldavians and it also prepares to introduce visa-free traffic for Georgia and Ukraine.